Hello everyone, uh, this is Doug Frank, and with me this morning is Ben Lohman. Hello Doug, hello everybody. Uh, we're back here in DeForest this week, uh, working on the spring 2015 sire directory. Uh, following up on last week's um, landmark Angus sire summary, they released their spring 2015 Angus sire summary. We want to just bring you a quick update this morning. Ben, you know, again, I've been in this industry for quite a few years. Uh, I don't know that we've ever seen such exciting times. Uh, first of all, from a beef economy standpoint, as you look around the industry, uh, with what calves are worth, feeder calves worth $1,600, $1,800. Commercial cows, commercial bred heifers worth three dollars to $4,000. Um, I know you've had a chance to be out at some bull sales uh, here lately. What are these bulls worth this fall? Oh, Doug, the sales have been just incredible from coast to coast, you know, whether it be Virginia or California or any place in between. We're seeing sales averaging six to eight thousand dollars across the board, uh, and that's not with radical highs. That's just good, steady market. That's with commercial producers mm -hmm. spending ten to fifteen thousand dollars on the upper end for some of these really good bulls out there. I think all that adds up to great times for our industry. We're starting to see the beginning of heifer retention to rebuild the cow herd. Uh, that's always a good time for our business. And as we talk about these high bull prices, AI is always cost competitive. Uh, right now, it's really just a no-brainer from a cost standpoint as well. Uh, so I think we're headed for some pretty exciting times. We've also had one of the most exciting sire summaries that I can ever remember. With the new economic era that we're in, uh, the, the economic indexes with the American Angus Association, they've updated those on this last sire summary. Uh, changed calf base price, for example, from $145 up to $180. You might say that's actually a little bit low today. The way they typically do that is on a three-year average. Um, so that's going to continue to go up. Fed market price is up. You know, the other positive side of that is we're seeing feedlot ration costs um, come down as well. For the very first time, um, the background feed intake EPD that's always been there in the Angus database that's fed residual average daily gain EPD and so forth, that's now being included in dollar F for the first time. It's ahead and feeds through to the dollar B index. Fairly big changes this time. You're going to see um, significantly higher top end values for both dollar W and dollar B because of those two things. Uh, for example, if you look at the fall 2014 run, the top sire in the breed was 133 uh, for dollar B index. Uh, now the top bull is 165. Uh, for dollar W, the top bull was $83 um, in the fall. Now he's over $100 for dollar W index. There were no real changes in the EPDs themselves, just the normal weekly changes with additional data. The big changes were in the dollar value indexes because of these updated economic assumptions. The bottom line, it was a great sire evaluation for ABS. When you look at the dollar indexes, but this is our summary, and we'll go into some individual bulls. Uh, we had the number one new dollar W bull, uh, the $105 bull is Tura Duty. Uh, the number one beef dollar bull, Rito 9Q13. And the number one feedlot value bull um, is Rampage. Uh, in addition, a new um, origin bull named Journey comes in number three uh, for dollar B. As you start to look at some of the individual traits, uh, again, the number one weaning weight EPD bull in Tour of Duty, the number four weaning weight bull in Rampage, the number one yearling weight bull in Rampage, number two yearling weight in Tour of Duty, the number four marbling bull is Proceed, the number one ribeye bull is Rito 9Q13, the number four ribeye bull is Counselor, and if you look at the heifer pregnancy EPD list, five of the top 11 bulls um, are ABS bulls. So we're going to jump in, hit a few of these bulls. You didn't see absolute on that list of number ones, but I would contend um, he was probably the biggest winner for us in that sire summary. When you look, he went up to $127 for dollar B. Uh, he beat the average of that increase by quite a bit. And again, I think one of the big things that's helping us here in the background has been our long-term emphasis on feed efficiency. That's now being accounted for even more. Now, again, all of that Sire Alliance data is not in there. You need to look at the Sire Alliance data separately because it has more efficiency information. But as these bulls get used in the general population, again, that data does feed into their feed intake and feed efficiency data through the American Angus Association. So that emphasis is paying off. You know, absolutely one of the best bulls in the industry today. As you start going down those dollar B lists, dollar W lists, and if you start throwing some convenience traits, if you look at Cavanese, um, if you look at docility, if you look at birth to yearling spread, 
he's without a doubt one of the most complete bulls in the industry today. Uh, good news is uh, semen production is pretty strong at the moment. We're in a better shape going into the spring than we were last year. However, demand is also exceptionally high on this bull. Um, I have no doubt we'll sell out on him this spring. The question is when. Uh, so my advice would be to get your orders in early um, on Absolute. Special focus, another Sire Alliance bull that had a good summer. You know, we're going to see a lot more heifers bred here over the next uh, few years. He's one of those foolproof double-digit Cavanese bulls. Uh, he's now up over 105 for dollar B. Again, part of that because he's a really good feed efficiency sire. We've seen the whole in-focus line of cattle do pretty well uh, for feed efficiency through the sire alliance. A uh, broken bow, man. I think this is a bull that's going to be a big winner for us. Um, you know, he's double-digit Cavanese, good sire alliance date. I know you've had a chance to see some of these cattle out in the country recently. I have uh, just uh, within the last uh, 30 <clears throat> or 60 days, Doug. I've seen a handful of these calves and. Uh, they continue to impress me with uh, just how, how thick made and big bodied and, and good looking these cattle really are. There's a good structure to them. I think they're uh, going to offer a, a really <clears throat> nice calf crop, consistent calf crop using, using the Cavanese that he's already got built in and, and a good growth pattern to him as well. Yeah, I think he'll be a key bull for us. He did you know, gain again from the changes in the indexes, but he's also gained a little bit on his individual data. You see he's moved up to 61 for weaning weight up to 104 for yearling weight EPD. A counselor, another Sire Alliance bull that's just off the charts. He was he was the number four bull in the breed um, for ribeye area. You know, that's pretty unique when you look at that 13 CED and negative 0.3 birth weight. Uh, look at the indexes across the board on him. The good news on counselor um, is he has started back on production. Uh, we did uh, have a little bit of choice quality product here to fill fall needs, and he's just started to make his first prime quality collections. Hopefully now as we head into the winter months, he'll be off and running. Uh, here's a newer bull in the lineup. We don't have Sire Alliance data yet. This bull's been enrolled though. We'll have data down the road here soon. But the Payweight 1682 bull, I think is one of the most intriguing bulls in our lineup. You know, just provides tremendous mating flexibility. A bull that can be used in a lot of places because of that, that Cavanese, the big birth yearling spread, kind of a no holes uh, phenotype. Uh, again, I, I've said it before, I, somebody stopped and talked to me at the National Angus Convention. They had been at Origin and they had seen this bull. They were really impressed with him. In fact, I thought they put it really well. They said they walked up on this bull and it looked like he had eaten another bull. He is so big and powerful from a capacity and muscle standpoint. And I say big and powerful, he's actually a pretty moderate frame bull. Uh, tremendous fleshing ability. Dan, I think you've had a chance to see some of these cattle as well. Yeah, and I think, Doug, the, the take home message on this bull is just how much body and mass and volume he will put into a calf crop. It's pretty darn simple. And I tell you, the, the other interesting thing about him is the trend line on his EPDs. As calf crops come through the system, he's earning <clears> his <throat> way the right way. He's a blue collar, hard working bull that uh, this state is treating him really well with the new calf crops coming through. Yeah, and you know, he's out of that pay weight line that's known for that volume, capacity, and performance, but what makes this bull unique is that Cavanese and the birth weight. He's a, he's a different pay weight derivative. A dollar B bull that will add fleshing ability. Mm -hmm. Again, I think the sky's the limit for him this spring. Here's another uh, new bull. This is a bull that's been in the Origin Network, um, a bull that we uh, felt strongly enough about that we did buy part of this bull uh, to bring him into the ABS lineup as well. Uh, this is Stevenson Rockmount. Uh, he is a daybreak son, a bull we really admired for several years uh, because of his phenotype. I think uh, more muscle, more power, uh, more moderation um, than most any other daybreak son that you're going to see out there. And at the same time, he's earned a really strong overall EPD profile, plus 17 CED, uh, negative 1.9 birth, still over 100 pounds for yearling growth. Uh, just a really, really nice package here in a you know, semi-proven, he's in the high accuracy stage, over 80% accuracy for birth weight. Uh, this bull's been used here a lot in the U.S. at a purebred level. Um, even more so, though, I would say at the commercial level here. Uh, and I know in talking to Stevenson, he's been used a lot in Russia. They've used him as kind of their go-to Cavanese bull there. Uh, and he's worked really well in that regard. You know, I see this bull in, in a lot of ways a lot like Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam has been right at the top of sales for us for several years. A moderate, heavy muscled, really complete Cavanese bull. Again, Hoover Dam will be a big seller for us when you compare EPDs on this bull. Rock Mount has a decided advantage uh, for Cavanese today. Another Cavanese bull that I think will be a bigger player for us this year is Reserve. Um, you know, he's double digit Cavanese, moderate birth weight. Again, maybe not quite to the degree of a Rock Mount that we just looked at, 
um, solid growth and just outstanding phenotype. I'm going to jump ahead a slide here uh, to look at some of these progeny at, at, out at Vintage Ranch. And I think, Ben, you've had a chance to see some of those calves out there and get around the country and see a few more of these reserves. I have, Doug, and I really like these cattle. I, I like them from the standpoint that they're just so attractive, so clean fronted, really structurally correct kind of cattle, plenty of muscle to them. And, you know, one of the things that really always never ceases to amaze me is just what the docility is mm -hmm. of these cattle. They are just so good. I, I see this bull as being one that, uh, you know, you can put on those marginal kind of cattle and he'll make a difference in that herd when you're talking in terms of docility. And again, if we're going to compare him to bulls in our lineup, Brilliance continues to be a great bull for us. Uh, this bull reminds me a lot of Brilliance. Double-digit cavity, solid growth, outstanding phenotype. Again, as Ben said, really good docility here, really good carcass potential as well. Here's another up-and-coming Cavanese bull I think to pay attention to. Uh, the early data on substantial looks really good. Um, low birth weight cattle, high weaning performance. Love the type and kind on this bull. Moderate, heavy muscle. It also brings kind of a different pedigree to the party, a really maternally oriented pedigree as well.